I'm the guy. You're fire. Are you ready? They make sure you ain't booty. Any man with two hands has a fighting chance. Hello and welcome to R&J Podcasts, The Scoop. Sunday Night Love Songs. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you were going to go down that Hi, line. Hi, welcome to R&J Podcasts. We have all of your sensual favourites. Coming up next, Barry White. <laughs> I knew, and I knew you'd mention Barry White. I uh, knew you would mention fuck. Barry White. Let's go from Barry White to No Mercy. Uh, that's that's the poorest segue <laughs> so far. Yeah. Let's get it on. That's Marvin Gaye. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, YouTube. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Put a thumb facing up on this video. Let's go. Don't be a dick. Yeah, let's go to my first, my last, my everything. The kickoff match, oh, you Elias. Dick. You dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. <laughs> Uh, Elias at Apollo Crews. I didn't see it. I didn't adult. see it, therefore it didn't happen. <laughs> no. So I'm in I'm gonna talk about just everything. I'm not gonna talk about like just no mercy and then just raw. I'm gonna talk about everything. That's yeah, a good idea. I'm liking how they are pushing the Intercontinental Championship at the moment. Yes, it is a good, good thing. I am a well fan done. of the Miz. I like the idea that people are cheering the Miz. It's very however, odd. Very odd. However, whilst I accept the push, is, isn't Roman Reigns a little bit north of the Intercontinental? Yes, he certainly is. Um, what I find quite funny, though, like talking about No Mercy and the Jason Jordan match, did you notice how people were booing Jason Jordan? Yeah. I mean... Smarky Towns, so Chicago. Where was this? This was in Los Angeles, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, yes. so Smarky Towns, as in New York, as in Chicago, as in Boston. Okay, Boston. They don't exist anymore. Everywhere's a Smarky Town now. Right. We have WWE has cut their audience down so much that all that's left is hardcores. We are it. We have mm. found the base level. I think. We have found the base level of purely hardcores and then some children. And people are getting a little bit fed up with Jason Jordan already being rammed down their throats. I am slightly concerned for Jason Jordan. However, he looked awesome in this match. He does. Excuse the pun. He looked very... I just... I watched this match the entire time I was thinking, I want to see this guy versus Lesnar. I watched this match and I thought... How is this match? Like, I shouldn't be enjoying this match. It's a nothing match. It's a complete nothing match. But I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, if The Miz didn't have his Miz Tourage, he'd be cheered unanimously. Yeah, I really hate The Miz Tourage. That's why they're there. That's yeah, why they're there. That's why that. their name sucks. You can't give them a good name. <sighs> okay, then... And, and, uh, and then this whole the Miz Taraj doing the whole shield thing on Raw. Well, you know what the rumor is, don't you? <sighs> I can guess. Sierra Hotel, India, Echo, Lima, Delta, Shield are coming back to face the Miz Taraj. But it's not confirmed. Pro Wrestling Sheet have 100% said it's not confirmed. <laughs> Sources but tell at, me that this is not quite confirmed. <laughs> at <laughs> like, the same time... <laughs> Yes. The Miztourage. Yes. Really? Yeah, it's not It's not good that's, enough, is it? That's the reason the Shield are coming back together? <laughs> Fuck. It's like the Justice League coming back for UKIP. Exactly. <laughs> it's like Ghostbusters coming back because there's a slightly creepy clown it's around. Ghostbusters coming back for Casper. 
Um, I would pay to see. <laughs> I would. I kind of would pay to see that as well. <laughs> hey, hey guys! Oh my god! <laughs> no, cats oh, and dogs living in harmony. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah this was a good match I enjoyed it IC title is back in the prominence that it uh, somewhat deserves to be um, yeah yeah sure it's going to get shoved to the side again when we eventually have a Miz Taraj versus Shield feud <laughs> can't believe I just said that uh, <laughs> solid start to the pay-per-view though yeah I enjoyed this pay-per-view um, spoiler alert it didn't suck everyone who says it sucks you suck yeah stop watching New Japan well, don't stop watching New Japan, but go outside. No, don't, don't. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy life. the weather. Enjoy right. happiness and the outdoors, and then come back and try and enjoy wrestling. It's not hard. Where, where do you want to... Let's move on. Where do you want to go to next? Where do you want to go to? How about the next match? Oh, okay. So, like, Finn Balor yes. and Bray Wyatt. Yeah. Um, the feud... This. you remember the film The Never Ending Story? Mm. Finn Balor is a Treyu. <laughs> Yep. Bray Wyatt is the giant dragon thing. <laughs> uh, and and Finn this Balor will is ride the him swamp into of obscurity. despair. Yes, it is. This feud is the swamp of despair. That fucking swamp of despair. <laughs> and currently that gorgeous white horse is being <laughs> enveloped by mud and goop. RJ Podcast, where you come for the most modern references we can muster. <laughs> <laughs> the never ending story. <laughs> oh, man. Wasn't there the lawyer in The Simpsons that were just like, yeah, this arrives with the time I <laughs> sued the never ending story? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, this was an okay oh. match. I like Finn's new gear. Yes. He looks even better in his new gear. Yes. I like the fact that they're starting to show light and shade between the demon character and f- just Finn the man character. Yes. Um, I, I, I enjoyed I enjoyed his new panties. <laughs> um, and I, for a strange reason, I thought you would enjoy them as well because it's kind of like, are they grey or are they a weird blue? Are they, they're oh, blue they, were, they were, mm. they were blay. Blah. Blah. Okay. Blah. Nice. Blah. Um, I am bored of this feud, and yet, yeah. however, however, yeah. I've got a way of turning it around. Okay, but you're gonna hate it. Okay, with a passion, right? So what you do is you have what Bray's been doing before, but like when he unmasks people, or not unmasks them, but wipes the paint off, he absorbs their powers. <laughs> that would be fucking great. I'm going to absorb the power of the demon. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Fucking good. <laughs> yeah. John Cena, I want your blood. <laughs> How does that work? I don't know, but it doesn't like work. some sort of ritual. Bray's weird enough to be able to pull it off. He is weird enough to be able to pull it off. Um, but it's not going to happen. They're just going to... Like, and... Okay, so again, mixing in Raw here. Yeah. I don't... I don't get the I don't get the oh I don't need your help <laughs> help uh, and, it, and it's just, oh, okay I'm gonna challenge you to a match and then really lose yeah um what was the point in that why have you brought in gold dust into this feud I mean it worked that at is, first with the whole wiping the paint off the face is that worked that made sense that's beautiful but I don't need to see Finn versus Dustin Rhodes and then at the same time, I don't need to see Finn versus Bray Wyatt again. This was nope. not the worst match on the card. It was the least heated match on the card. No one cared. No one cared about this match. Moving on. Mm, yes. Like a freight train. I mean, do you want to go into the tag team championship match? Or do you want to leave it till last? Let's leave it till last. Okay, right. So the women's championship match then. Great match. Mm-hmm. Second best match of the night. Mm-hmm. All five of them delivered. Yeah, I was waiting for you to keep doing the whole agreeing jaws oh. thing. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Awesome match. Um, the way they used Naya was really clever. Um, using her yep. as the big um powerhouse. 
Uh, I really liked Emma's involvement. She she looked like she was on their level. She didn't look like she was out of place. Bailey yep. was solid. Yep. Sasha looks more and more like a star every week. And Alexa's is just a like, little bit better than everyone else, isn't she? Yeah. I have no qualms with this match whatsoever. It's top five women's match of the year. It's up there. Yeah. It's, Great it, match. It, it went... It, it didn't disappoint. It had potential to just kind of be a bit annoying or disappointing, but no, it didn't disappoint at all. Yeah, I thought it was good. I thought, you know, you've, we've established at least five. We have a division back. Yeah, we have a division back. And then there's also, there's also Mickey James. Yeah, exactly. If you've not heard us before, earlier in the year, we were all about the women's division. It was the best part of the entire company. Charlotte as champion, and then Alexa on the other show as champion. We were all about the women's division. It was the greatest thing. Then it cooled down a bit, and now it's starting to pick up some steam. I think that Alexa has recovered after her. Yes, she um, has. Definitely. Mishap. Definitely. I would very much like to see an Alexa Mickey James match. Yeah. Like with a proper build. Because I think I think Mickey could have another run as the champion. But I don't want her to. Right. I want Alexa to beat her. Mm, and I thought okay. it was a bit mean calling Mickey an old lady. Yeah. You're a mean old lady. <laughs> no. <laughs> but at, at the same time, she Mickey James could just pull her Sasha Banks. Yes. Well, oh, okay. What, win it and then lose straight away? Yeah. What faith you have in Mickey... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm, no, it's not that I have faith in, I don't have faith in Mickey. It's more just kind of like, uh, they've done it to someone like Sasha Banks before. So The question I have to ask well, you about Mickey is, is she fine and does she blow your mind? I wouldn't say no. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> okay, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Got to do something to keep the listeners interested. Yeah. Apart from talk about wrestling. Yeah. Because that's why they're... Pick here. it up. Pick it up. <laughs> you drop the ball. <laughs> Pick up the ball. <laughs> and move back right. into the lane. <laughs> Roman Reigns and John Cena. Uh, mixed emotions about this match. Um, I wasn't prepared for it to be a Cena possibly retiring, retiring moment. Um bit gutted really I mean he's not retiring yeah. let's put that to bed right now John Cena's going nowhere okay until at least Wrestlemania and I believe that John Cena is legitimately not going anywhere if he moves into a more Undertaker Brock Lesnar role where he comes in sporadically during the year that'll happen John Cena's not going anywhere this is his lifeblood he feeds off WWE there's no way he's going anywhere but at the same time this was a weird match it felt like you know what? You get the big fight feel with matches, which we'll talk about in a minute because obviously Braun Brock, big fight feel, really great match. Sure. This felt like it was at the wrong venue. Mm. I'm watching this just going, this should have been a WrestleMania. This this match is too big for where it is. And it felt like the crowd felt that as well. It was too big. The, the arena felt too small. What I wanted to see is I would want to see a WrestleMania crowd there where, you know, Everyone might boo. Everyone might boo both people, but the atmosphere would have been electric. This felt too small. The the setting was too small for a match of this magnitude. I don't care if you hate Roman Reigns and you hate John Cena. This is the biggest match, the biggest match they could pull off in this era right now. John Cena, Roman Reigns, and they pulled the trigger too early. Yeah. This is this generation's Hogan Ultimate Warrior, and they pulled the trigger way too early. Yeah, uh, the point for me would be, right, so Roman Reigns defeated John Cena. Yes, as he should have done. Your, yeah, your reward, yeah, is a, a <clears throat> shot at the Intercontinental Championship. Yeah, but I suppose in a way that puts that puts the Miz it, in a good it, position. Yeah, it brings up, rather than Roman Reigns going down, you have to see it as the Intercontinental Championship and the Miz going up. Yes, um, but at the same time, if you had Cena versus The Miz, 
your money's on Cena. Yes. Your Roman Reigns versus The Miz, your money's on Roman Reigns. But then, you know, we have The Miz to Raj as well. The funny thing is, if we got Cena versus Miz, that would be a rematch from the WrestleMania 27 main event. Well, Let that sink in. <laughs> wow. That was a rough WrestleMania. <laughs> we'll say that. Um, something I also want to debunk and put to bed. I keep seeing a lot of people getting very upset that John Cena hit four attitude adjustments and then Roman yeah. kept kicking out and at the same time, Roman hit one spear and took out John Cena. He, he did. I s- no, he, he did two spears. Oh, he did, he did do two spears. I might be thinking of the main event. <laughs> right. um, but no, it was, so it was two spears from Roman and... Was it one Superman punch or two Superman punches? Okay, so I definitely saw at least... Um, so there was a spear through a table. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then there was a spear in the ring. Yes. And then the last, uh, where Cena got pinned, it was Superman punch, then spear. Yes. Okay. So uh, for that, like when I watched it, it was, yeah, I get it. To be honest, when I was watching it, I was thinking... You know how we were discussing, uh, you know, what are uh, moves that are really protected? Yes. Okay. Um, so, like, the coup de gras. Yes, massively is, protected, as it, yeah. as it should be. Yeah, no one kicks out. No. The AA, not protected. Not protected anymore. Not even close. No, it's just, yeah, it is It is just, it's like the code breaker. Chris Jericho's code yeah, breaker. Everyone kicks not out protected. the code breaker. Every, yeah, everyone. it's just something that has happened. So people who are complaining that, oh, he kicked out with the attitude adjustment, it's not a big thing. No, it's not. Um, and to be fair, it wasn't just a, a random spear. It was Superman punch, then spear, like one straight after the other. Kind of makes sense. There's enough, I found nothing wrong with that ending whatsoever. No. It was a good match, but it should have been a great match. Yeah. That's my problem. Yeah, I get that. It, it, yeah, I, I mean, that. there was nothing wrong with it. If if this was any other two performers and they pulled out that match, we'd be going, oh, good match. Solid. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. These are the two biggest stars in the company. And I don't know what I was expecting, but I expected something just a little... It, it never got into that that extra gear for me. And possibly if it was at a WrestleMania, it would have. Yes. Exactly. Or Rumble. Yeah. No Mercy just feels like too random a show. Yeah. I know they'll say things like Big Four doesn't exist anymore and it's all about every event is must-see television. It's not. Mm. It's not. I'm sorry. That's not the truth. So so talking about must-see television, Enzo Amore. Mm-hmm. I think Enzo and Amore, no. and I don't care what anyone says, I think Enzo Amore is a fantastic choice to be Cruiserweight Champion. Well, can I just repeat what Chris Jericho has said? What has Chris Jericho said? He said, of course you put the belt on Enzo Amore. Okay. Build interest. Any interest is good interest. Yes. You build interest, negative interest on Enzo Amore. Yep. People are going to want to watch two or five live. There you go. You've got some extra viewers because they want to see Neville win. They want to see Neville, Neville beat up Enzo yeah. Amore. You, Absolutely. Enzo Amore is babyface. Yes. Well. Neville is heel. Well. I think well. they flipped the script on that one. Yeah. But in, but, a, in a kind of... The crowd is behind Enzo. The crowd shouldn't be behind Neville. But that that seems to be changing somewhat. E- the crowd was notice, noticeably lukewarm for Enzo here. Like, very much so. Yeah, I feel as though every single time we see him, I feel as though less people are getting, are repeating or chanting along to his stuff. Yeah. But what I like is the fact that they've noticed that and they've run with it. There's all these stories. I'm I'm going to go into a little bit of conspiracy theory here. I think all the stories we hear about Enzo are made up. Not well, not all of them. I think a lot of it's made up. You know all this, like, you know, he got booted off um, the uh, tour bus. Tour bus, yeah. He gets booted out of locker rooms. I think a lot of that is because we're in, you know, the reality era, as Triple H liked to call it. Um, mm. I think a lot of it is hyperbole somewhat and I think that okay. they've used 
all these stories and they've created a monster heel in Enzo because he is irritating as hell. And this is the best use of Enzo because Cass isn't there. If you're not going to have Big Cass there because they should, still should be a tag team, I'm sorry, there's just no excuse. But yep. if Cass isn't there and they're not a tag team, this is how you use Enzo. Like, of course Fair. this is how you use Enzo. And I think he's going to be a phenomenal Cruiserweight champion. Yeah. Because people don't want him to be Cruiserweight champion. But the fact is, as good as Neville is, and he is amazing since his, uh, you know, redesign, if you will, yep. you know, since he turned yep. into a Game of Thrones character, no one watches... Yeah, till... since he stopped re- wearing red trunks. Yeah, no one watches 205 Live. You've got to do something. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good your heel work is if you don't have somebody on top that people want to see get beaten up no one's going to watch your show so you're you're aware of what happened after Raw I am aware of what happened after Raw when the entire that, cruiserweight division beat the crap out of including seemed, baby faces so Grand Metallic yeah, that, yeah Davari, that seemed brutal yeah that was like okay interesting it seemed like uh like I saw somewhere oh I can't remember where but um, uh, I saw online people were kind of like, yeah, so you're really anti-bullying, aren't you? What what, what you doing there? Um, i got to disagree with that. Okay. i got to disagree with that because the fact is that people, I mean, the, the problem is people are beating up a heel. Enzo is a heel now. He's going out there, he's talking about how he's got more money than everyone else. He's talking about how no one watches 205 Live because they're all vanilla midgets. Like, of course they're going to beat him up. It's not bullying. If So if, if WWE had to tackle bullying every single time there was a show, there'd be no Brock Lesnar. Okay, so this is... this is um, Okay, so the way to define this is that one would say that it was bullying if... If the rumours around uh, him in the locker room were true. Yeah, but the, the thing is, but, I, I define I define bullying as stopping someone, I don't know, like stopping someone doing what they want to do and making a mockery of them. Enzo Amore is the cruiserweight champion. He's in the best position he's been in since he's become a single superstar. They're not bullying him. Like... He's in a really good position now. He's got the belt, and they're going to make him a star on 205 Live. I don't get what the big deal is. Hmm. Personally. You sound like you have a deal with it. I... That's because you're an Enzo fan. It's because I'm an Enzo fan, but also, uh, also, I guess, working in a school. As soon as the word bullying comes up, I'm like, oh, my God, no. I have to stop everything. Yeah. Um so there's that automatic kick. But again, it all depends how much is real, how much is rumour, how much is scripted, how much is unscripted, um, how much, you know... In my just, mind, yeah, yeah, but you've, just, got to, you've got to look at the build-up of Raw. The entire show, he's annoying the hell out of Kurt Angle, saying, I want my celebration tonight. I want this, I want that. Give me this, give yeah. me that. I'm the greatest thing in the world. If the entire cruiserweight division came out and beat the crap out of Enzo Amore and he hadn't won the belt and he hadn't have done anything of note, then I'd be like, yeah, that's that's a bit harsh. But he's won the belt. They're trying to build up a new heel. Yep. But it's kind of a weird quasi, is he a heel, is he a babyface? Because you kind of want to give him sympathy because everyone's beating him up at the same time. He's annoying as hell. So yep. it's like, I don't know. So what happened, because I didn't see it, 205 Live. So, yeah, that, great. I love how they're trying to build it. Yeah, they're trying, exactly. We didn't even, didn't even watch 205 Live. So, um, I didn't even watch it. I believe really. Enzo attacked Neville with a crutch. Yeah. Yeah. The, the pictures that I saw. So, Enzo got his own back. Right, great. So. So, the heel in Neville got his comeuppance. So, it's not bullying. Mm. It's not bullying because it's showing kids that you can stand up to bullying by hitting people with a crutch. So we're both we're so so we're in this we're in this area where, like you said, both Enzo and Neville are heels, but not 
out. Yes, we're in an area that's as grey as Finn Balor's new trunks. Mm, which might be blue. Which might be blue. Let's move on to the main event. <laughs> right, so Universal Championship match. Yes. Interesting finish. <laughs> I made the still <laughs> I made the mistake before you start of betting. No, I didn't make the mistake of betting. I would okay. have bet on Brock Lesnar every night of the week. I made the mistake of writing a little column for scscoops.com saying the three reasons that Brock Lesnar needs to win this match tonight. And oh my God, the hate I got for that. Oh my God. <laughs> People are like, no, you're an idiot. It's Braun's time to win the title. I'm like, no, it's not. Braun's not but winning to, the battle. to be fair, you are an idiot. It I am an idiot. It's time yeah, to win the title. No, but no. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> This was not Braun's time to win the title. People need to realise that it's going to be Brock versus Roman at WrestleMania next year. Everyone's saying, oh, Brock's disappearing. Brock isn't going to the UFC. John no, Jones uh... got busted for steroids and Brock Lesnar's contract runs to WrestleMania. He is going to WrestleMania with the belt and Roman is going to beat him. Yeah, it's not going to be Braun Strowman. No. Nope. Uh... It's not going to be yeah, yeah, Finn no, Balor, who is the next rumoured challenger for Brock Lesnar. No. Survivor Series. I would much rather see Neville come up from 205 Live and take on Finn. That's fuck. a match I'd Oh, oh sorry. You yeah, thought no, I was no, going to no. say Neville yeah. Brock. I was like, for fuck's sake, Cruiserweight champion going up to Universal. Fuck me. I would Seriously. quite like to see Neville versus Brock Lesnar. Oh, well, yeah. I think Neville can make that work. I think so. I think, but Neville's a beast. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the thing is, I forget. I always forget how short he is. Yeah. But he's built like a tank. He is. He's awesome. Um, yeah. But this was a good match. Back to Brock versus Braun. Yes. Um, I enjoyed it. Interesting Probably. ending. Because obviously a billion power slams. Yep. And it ends with one F5. Yep. Um I think. I mean, it was impressive. It was a. It was an impressive build up to get to the F five. Yes, the big the thing is the issue is I know a lot of people are upset that Braun lost, but hear me out. This isn't okay. This isn't the end of Braun Strowman? This isn't the end of Braun Strowman? As we said before, the F five is a protected move. Just accept it because the point is is that it took one F five to beat Joe. Yeah. It took yep. one F5 to beat Braun. So when Roman gets hit with an F5 at WrestleMania next year and he kicks out, the crowd is meant to go crazy. They won't. They'll boo. But the crowd is meant to go crazy. <laughs> they'll boo They'll boo him out of the building because everyone sees this coming a mile off. But it's what's going to happen. Again, the two main events on this show, the two matches I cared about, under-delivered because I overhyped them in my mind. Yeah, I just I think it was missing like a chair being thrown across the arena. Yes, because <laughs> I fucking love that. Where it's like here's a chair. <laughs> I think people seem to un- understate just how good Braun really is now. Like he's so good. Like I had no yeah. idea how athletic he was. He's so good, and he's lost a ton he of weight. He's ripped now. He's a genuine star. Yeah. He didn't need to win this um, match. No. He did not need to win no. this match. He's fine. No. People need to stop worrying about Braun Strowman because he's fine. He'll get he's fine. He'll he's, get the belt. He might be going on to Raw to do matches against Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins next week and whatnot. That's that's just that's just gap filling. He's it's fine. fine. It's just gap filling. He's fine. Let's not panic about Braun. It's it's just until Dean and Seth go Oh no. Look at the Miz-tourage. <laughs> Dunnan. 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 Dun, dun. Oh, oh man. Um, yeah, so it was a good ending to a good show. But let's but. talk about the people that... Rewind. Let's not raise the bar. Let's talk the bar. Oh, my God, what a match. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They had no right to have a match that good. Nope, they really didn't. And uh, I think we need to talk about a certain Swiss Superman. Oh my goodness! Um, apparently, he didn't lose teeth; they went up into his gum. Fuck! Uh... 
It's the fact that he did it and then kept going. It's the fact that he did it and then got a super kick to the face. Yeah. Like almost immediately afterwards. Everything Cesaro touches turns to gold. And I've been an advocate of Seamus for years and people are finally starting to notice. He is no fuck Seamus. No. Cesaro is amazing. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Seriously. Did you see? No. Come, did you off. see Seamus Matt was Hardy's tweet? Which one? Oh, the, we, if we know a good dentist, we know a good dentist, courtesy of your partner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cheeky. Oh, yeah. Very cheeky. Um. Great. Great. Great match. My, so you're an advocate of Seamus? Oh, yeah, uh, Seamus. Explain. Seamus is great. Like I'm not. I'm not saying you shouldn't be. I'm just. I'm just saying. Please, please uh, elaborate. Explain and develop. Elaborate. That's the word okay. for our listeners. Okay. One thing I really like about Seamus, he has more than one finishing move. He has the white noise. He has the bro kick. Um, he has something else. Is it great? Well, I don't know. He has other things. He has multiple ways of finishing, match, finishing matches. And he has great matches on Raw all the time. He's a great tag team wrestler. He's a great singles wrestler. He gets no credit whatsoever. He is a legit beast. If you put him in a match with Brock Lesnar, it's not like you go, Pfft. no, he's tough. He could have a legit match with anyone on that roster. He just looks... I think that's fair, shout. He just... The problem is, is that him and Cesaro look like Bebop and Rocksteady from the Turtles. Well, I'm pretty sure he did play one of them. Oh, yeah, he did, didn't he? <laughs> didn't he just did made. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> Hilarious comparison. Well I compared him to himself. Exactly. Who played the other one now? I didn't even watch uh, that film. I didn't watch that film. Who, I watched the proper ones. The other one? Because Dean Ambrose is Casey Jones. Let's put that to bed right now. Or is Seth Rollins Casey Jones? Mm. Oh shit, which one's Casey Jones? I don't know, but I don't think it's the important point. That's not the important point. Um, no. <laughs> On a tangent. Great match. I loved the um white noise into Powerbomb from the top rope spot. Yes. Um, and when uh, was it Dean or was it Seth who kicked out and he just saw Seamus on the outside just on his knees just like how do we beat these guys? Yeah. I yeah. You can see like especially the commentary worked really well because it was a case of you could see on their faces oh, we've tried our, yeah. our plan has not worked. The, we need to try something else. The fact so is, we're going to go to plan 64.2. Yeah. Yeah. The fact is, when the Revival came up from NXT, these were the sort of matches that the Revival were having with DIY, so Gargano and Champa. These were the sort of matches they were having with those guys. But when the Revival came up and were injured, it was kind of like, okay, we have a gap for the younger two athletic guys to take on the guys that are just good at cutting off the ring, cheating. I mean... I, it's just did you see the point where like even Cesaro was like talking to the referee about his teeth being broken and showing him his teeth and Seamus was still beating up was it Dean in the corner so they were yep. even using the teeth broken thing to fuck with the referee yep. utter genius great match best match of the night nothing touched it nothing touched it whatsoever apart except from- I did like I just Part of me could watch it, and part of me really couldn't watch it with like his teeth. It was just kind of like, ow! It added. Ow! It. I kept having to check that my teeth were. <laughs> it added to the match, though. Oh yeah, hugely added to the match. Um, At first, I thought his nose was broken. I'd, I'd I was say convinced his nose was broken. I'd say um, thumbs up for no mercy, but I kind of want to do a thumbs in the middle for the bar. Mm. So I'm going to say thumbs in the middle because they smashed the bar. They really smashed really the bar. No Mercy, top to bottom. I enjoyed it. Yeah, well done, No Mercy. One of the better cards this year, and we've had a hell yeah. of a year so far. Yeah, and I really, yeah, I really enjoyed, really enjoyed No Mercy. Yeah. Um, okay, right. Is there anything left from Raw that you want to Je- discuss? Jeff Hardy's out for a while. That sucks. Shoulder. That sucks. Shoulder. Um, yeah. I just hope that, you know, 
nothing of Matt's gets broken. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Or woken. This is the time to do it. Okay, yeah, I guess. If you're going to do it. Th- this is it. Do it now. You have to. You do cannot it. have generic normal Matt Hardy without Jeff. No. You uh, can't have him. No. And you can't just have him tag on with other people to take yeah. on that. And what I'd like to happen, I want, um, because Finn's apparently going to face Lesnar around Survivor Series, just put him in there with Bray Wyatt. Matt Hardy versus yeah. Bray Wyatt. Woken versus whatever the fuck Bray is. Be well up for that. Well, well, well Woken up for that. Woken versus losing. <laughs> John Cena, I want your blood. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so awesome. Let's talk SmackDown. Right, there's nothing else that you want to mention from... I get the feeling uh, there's something else you want to mention from Raw. No, I'm just I'm just looking at it going, is there anything I want to mention? And like Elias just doing his standard thing. No. <sighs> it's just annoying. <laughs> Fuck <Right>, you. Yeah. <laughs> um, no. Uh, yes. Yes. No. Yes, on to SmackDown. On to SmackDown, the Kevin Owens show. I th- yeah, he. Uh, yes. Yeah, he kicked it off. Yes. He kicked it off. He not only did he kick it well. off, but I think um, Zayn came out and gave a good account of himself. Yes. They need to do something with Sami Zayn. And this is the time to quickly do it. This is the time to build Sami fucking Zayn. Do it. Um, you know what? Mm. Build Sami Zayn and have him sneakily come in and win a title. I don't want Sami Zayn to sneakily win anything. I want Sami okay, Zayn. Okay, well, not what. No, what I mean by that is that, like, while Kevin Owens is preoccupied, Sami Zayn wins a title. Yeah, and then Kevin Owens like suddenly realizes that Sami Zayn's won title, and Kevin no. Owens is like, right, that should be mine. No. No. In my mind, there is one way that Sami Zayn wins a title, specifically the WWE title. Sami Zayn needs to beat Kevin Owens at a top pay per view to win his first ever WWE title. That is the only well, it way it needs can to be happen. massive. Needs to be. I, I would kill for that match so at WrestleMania. Are you booking, so you're booking Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn at WrestleMania? It needs to happen. And it needs to be a singles that's match fine. because. And you don't, you don't, yeah, that's fine. You don't need to convince me. Because. Sammy has the opportunity to have a huge WrestleMania moment and people would get he behind him in a big way. needs to recapture his NXT. Yes, people get behind him in a big way. People would have no problem with Sammy being WWE champion. You, there's no way anybody could tell me that if Sammy won the title at WrestleMania, people wouldn't go ape shit. You'd be looking at Daniel Bryan 2.0. And I mean that sincerely. Mm. The crowd will go insane. But you've got to, excuse the pun, but you've got to build it properly. And I don't see how they're going to get the belt on Owens before Mania next year. And I'm also slightly worried now that we're going to have Triple fucking H versus Kevin Owens. Because Triple H can't let a feud just happen. He can't let a feud just happen. He can't let a WrestleMania just happen. No. He has to go in and suck it. (laughs) Speaking of suck it, actually, Bullet Club appeared at Raw. But they didn't appear on camera. They just kind of appeared. And... um, WWE sent a cease and desist letter to the Young Bucks saying you can't do the too sweet thing anymore. Just like, oh man. <laughs> Fuck you. Whoops. Um, so yeah, Kevin Owens show. Um, uh, Baron Corbin, Ty Dillinger. I like the fact that Ty got counted out at 10. I think that's funny. <laughs> I find that funny. It had to happen, but I think they could have made more of it. Yeah, it just SmackDown feels like it's in a holding pattern right now. Hell in a Cell is a one match show, which shouldn't be the case. Yeah, it is literally it is from... literally Shane versus Owens. That's no one gives a shit about anything else. AJ, no, they do Corbin. have the tag team in the Yeah, but cell like now. that match doesn't need to be in a cell. As good as those two teams no. are, and as good as the matches they have had, it doesn't warrant being in a cell. It's not a blood feud, is it? They were no. the new day were stood in the crowd eating popcorn 
talking about how the match is going to be in Hell in a Cell. Can you imagine? <laughs> bang, bang! <laughs> <You know? laughs> Just a stuffing popcorn. <laughs> Triple H! I'm going to be... <laughs> I'm going to meet you in Hell in a Cell. Bang, bang! <laughs> no. Would no. never have happened. Would never have happened. Um, Although I can imagine Raven sitting in a crowd and doing that. Because he usually used to do that, didn't he? popcorn. No, Raven has to be sat eating popcorn and the blue... Well, the blue mini has to be next to him eating popcorn. And just bits just like (laughs) spilling onto Raven in his hair. So get the fuck off me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Right, okay. So we had Jinder doing his usual thing. (laughs) Being a racist. Yeah. (laughs) I was like, for fuck's sake, this is happening again. Oh, Shinsuke. It was like Jinder came out and said, I know what I said last week was racist. But, but I think it was funny. Not me, him. <laughs> just, mm. so it's just like, dude, no. No. You can't say... That is literally, I'm not a racist, but... This is literally what you just did. You, you can't... No, you can't do it. It really annoys me, and I truly... I don't... Okay, I don't hate gender like I hate the Miz. Mm-hmm. I fucking hate gender. Yeah. Like, I would turn off his matches. Yeah. Um, not his, not his fault though. No, um, no. I mean, if he's given a script and told what to do, or not even given a script, but if he's told what to do and what you have to, what you have to work with. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what you do. So it's not. It's again. Whenever I say this, it's not that I hate gender as in the person. It is the character and what he's yes. uh, representing. Also, so that's he is the Hayden Christensen. Against. Of WWE, a talented actor, yes, but in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> he is the Frank De Boer of WWE, a talented manager, yes, but in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh. Shinsuke Nakamura is the Roy Hodgson of WWE. Oh my God. Oh man. Oh man. So, yeah. I want you to tweet Shinsuke <laughs> with a picture of Roy Hodgson. <laughs> this, this is that I'm going gonna... <clears throat> to You are not do... you're not finding me a picture of Roy Hodgson. Oh. No, I'm just going to do it myself. in fact, I might find a gift. No, it's gift. It's GIF. Is it going to come up with anything? Yes, yes it does. That'll do. My podcast partner. Oh, don't bring me into it. R and J podcast. Oh fuck! <laughs> believes you are Roy Hodgson. R at Roy. This is the sort of quality that people on YouTube and people previously of Audio Boom have come to expect from R and J podcasts right here on the Turnbuckle Daily YouTube channel. Fuck credibility. <laughs> We are non-advertiser friendly. <laughs> are you still tweeting? Get back in the game. Right. You f- okay. Oh, my sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, my sweet Jesus. Fucking notifications. Oh, my good Lord. You right. just told Shinsuke Nakamura I thought it was Roy Hodgson. Of course I did. That is... Of course I did. Right, so <laughs> what, <gift? laughs> what did you what did you think of uh, Aiden English? Um and his involvement with Rusev. Happy Rusev Day. Yeah. Rusev much um, What's that about? Um The Pride of Bulgaria celebration <laughs> where he got like a key that was clearly made out of they were like, Oh, we need to give him a key. Oh, there's um 
oh, there's some chocolate bar over there if we just eat the chocolate and then get the tin foil. It was like a Kingdom Hearts key. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Congratulations, you can now go to the Little Mermaid. I could legit see Rusev in the Little Mermaid. Not weird. Don't make that weird. That's fucking. I weird. meant the world, not her. Wait, it. what? <laughs> So you see him as King Trident. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> um, I liked the way... A that, whole new world. Whole, that's Aladdin. I liked the way that um, Rusev took the RKO. He's very good at taking RKOs. He is very good. I like the fact that Aiden English was blatantly backstage one day doing a bit of singing and Vince went, Yeah, I didn't know he could do this. Oh, you it. son of a bitch. Should have told me he could sing. I'm getting all hard in the... Dick. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Why the fuck do you have to take it there? Why the fuck did you have to tell Shinsuke? I thought it was Roy Hodgson. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Right. Yeah. So SmackDown was a right. bit of a. I'm uh, fixing it. I'm fixing don't it. Don't delete it. Don't delete it. I'm not leave I'm it not up. Going to delete don't it. Don't like it. <laughs> I'm not gonna like it. I have to say that Ro- 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 Rusev, Ro- Rusev SmackDown was not very good this week. It is very bland right now. It's very much a holding pattern, whereas Raw seems to be firing on all the cylinders. It's very depressing. Um, I like the fact that Charlotte's back. Um, I don't think Natalia is very good at being a bad girl, especially when she came. What the fuck have you tweeted? No, I see. I like Natalia. (laughs) Amazing. Um, I didn't like Natalia coming out saying, I'm glad your dad didn't die so you can watch how much you suck. Yeah, no, I, I, I wasn't keen on that. I said it in a better way than she did. It reminds me of the time uh, where Randy Orton came out and said to Rey Mysterio, um, "Yeah, by the way, Eddie's not looking down on you. Eddie's in hell. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, That's what got me yeah. back into wrestling. <laughs> How weird is that? But I I like I like Natalia and I like, um, I like what she does. She's, I just think like she's just... It's the it's I think a cat she's thing, told isn't it? It's a cat to thing, take isn't it? it. It's a cat thing, isn't it? You like I her because she's like... a cat lady. Yeah. It's literally just a fa- cat thing. And the fact that she does tweet as to whether, no, questioning, am I a crazy cat lady? And it's like, of course you are. You, literally the only you reason are. you like her is because of fucking cats. You love it. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. But no, I like, you know, I like, I do like how she, she comes out and presents herself. <laughs> What? Purring and licking her arms. <laughs> no, that's like you saying I like how Finn Balor comes out because you could grate I could grate steel, on, steel those abs. on those abs. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I mean, how can you not? I don't care what what your sexual preference is. Finn Balor is <laughs> fit as fuck. I literally do not care. There is no way you can uh, not look at that man and go, fuck me. Is that question <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, he could do a lot better than me. <laughs> I'd just abuse him. Um, <laughs> right, how yeah. did you like Carmella? Carmella, oh, fucking Carmella. I mean, she. I thought she did all right in the ring. Quick question, how does James? how is James Ellsworth not in 2K18? What? That's not fair, is it? That is that not fair. fair. The amount, the amount of punishment that guy has been put through and he's given to that company, he deserves a shot in that game. I mean, okay, in the last year, has he had a match? Yes. Exactly. Get him in the game, for fuck's sake. That's, I think that's fair. He's been really good. I like James Ellsworth. He's living yeah. the dream. Can't fault him. Dolph. Dolph. Oh. Um... There's only one way that he can fix this. I liked the idea that the gong went off. I like the idea that he came out as Taker. I think that was funny. But, yeah. and the, Bobby Roode's not a face. Bobby Roode should have come up as a top heel. Why is Bobby Roode in a feud with Ziggler? The fuck? I think, I think it's fine. I think it is just a stepping stone. Yes, but it's, he should have been and a top he heel. he will... He will, he will continue. Like it's like you. It's okay to have heel versus heel at the moment. Yeah, but he's not a heel. It's fine, he's not a heel, is he? Bobby Roode is a baby face. 
But I thought you said you don't want him to be a no, babyface. No, but I don't. I, I know, but he is a babyface. I don't want him to be a babyface, but he's come up as a babyface. <sighs> Probably because they thought Glorious is too good a song for him to be a bad guy and people would cheer him. Maybe, yeah, but maybe. Glorious is, uh, is, is more, it's like you could, it's a, it's, it's a heel thing because he's vain. Yeah, but everyone wants to go, and... Glorious. I won't yeah. give in. I won't... Yeah, all that shtick. Um, one of I these days, I'm, I'm... one of these days, SmackDown has to start with. <laughs> and then Ziggler has to come out of CM Punk and do the whole entrance. They won't do it because they don't have the balls to do it. No, I really don't think they do. No, the I would do love it. that though. Imagine SmackDown starting off with that radio static. People would lose their minds. They would. People would go, shit. <laughs> but the thing oh, is, dope. is that like, I don't think people would get it. They would just, I think they would just be bitterly disappointed. <laughs> yeah, it's just kind of like... I, uh, like, I think all of, all rationality and common sense would fly out the window and they would be like, oh, I actually genuinely thought CM Punk Yeah, exactly. Come back. Well, that's the and point. Uh, I'm so fucking annoyed that he hasn't. It's like, of course, it's not The Undertaker. Yeah, but... No, but it could have been Taker. It really couldn't. Yeah, how do you know it couldn't have been Taker? He was far too short. No, okay, sorry. I thought you meant like when the gong hit. When the gong hit, of course. Yeah. Of course. But... I think... Yeah, but imagine if Ziggler came out in the trunks and the hoodie and he's facing backwards. And it's like, oh... Yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, of course. But like... They don't have the balls I to do don't, it. No, I don't, I don't think CM Punk is ever coming back to WWE. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Let me dream. Let me okay. dream. You do, what you don't understand is that I was here for the wilderness. Okay? The wilderness I know. that is 2007 to about a week ago. Okay? <laughs> I, <laughs> I lived through some shit. Okay? And the only comfort I had was punk. Week in, week out, punk on the microphone and in the ring was flawless for like three years. And then Brian came along, picked up the slack... He was amazing. Before that, it was rough. This is why me and you were going to watch ECW from the beginning. Yeah, we still need to arrange that. We still need that. to arrange that. And it's going to be called Reliving Dangerously, not Change the Channel or the CM Punk Appreciation Show. I fucking love Change the Channel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, we can call it Change the Channel. <laughs> No, no, we can we can have the re appreciation and then we can chamber wrestling whatever. Then know. we can do our fashion podcast. Uh, change the Chanel. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Well, thanks for listening to the scoop in the one and hold oh, on. Fucking hell! What now? <laughs> Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn at the end. Yeah, well, we talked about Kevin and Sami. And, right. oh my sweet Jesus, how harsh was it when Sammy with the chair on his face went into shame? Exactly. The whole, like, was that a mistake? No, of course it wasn't. That was perfectly timed. I know, but at the same time, it was just like, Jesus, that's, a, that's another tooth. Yeah. Gone. I, 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 I just, this is it for Owens. He's at the precipice. So is it make or break time? No, or no, is no, it no. Just so I don't make think or make. I don't think it's make or break. I think it's make. It's if, just make. If Owens doesn't become a major make. star out of this, then did you say wait? No, I said make. No. It's a make. It's a make moment. It's a make moment. 100%. I think Shane's going to take a crazy bump. I think Shane is going to go out there and he's going to do everything in his power to ensure that Kevin Owens looks great coming out of this match. Because I think Shane is that kind of guy. I don't think Triple yeah. H is that kind of guy. No. Just putting it out there. So, quick question. Yes. Kevin Owens, Triple H. Yes. Who would win? Who would win? Um, <laughs> well, I'll tell you who should win. Kevin Owens should win that match without a shadow of a doubt in my mind. Um, if Triple H won it, wouldn't be shocked. Hmm. Because he has a funny way of winning these matches when he really doesn't need to win matches. And I don't mm. think that's right. But he lost against Seth Rollins with the 
injured knee. That was an anomaly. <laughs> that yeah. was one hell of an anomaly. But yes, yeah, I, I do. That. I do think that um, it, it's going to happen at Mania. I do think we're going to see Owens versus. Um, yeah, I do think we're going to see Owens versus Triple H, but it's it's just still so long. It's a long way off. They could do something to surprise me, and it could be a really good match. But I don't want to see Owens against Triple H. I want to see Owens versus Sammy. That's the feud I want to see all the time. I'd want to see those guys fight forever. Like, legitimately. You know. Hmm. Who would come up at Royal Rumble? How do you mean? So, who would make who would make an appearance at Royal Rumble? What, as a shock appearance? Hmm. Um, CM Punk. Um. <laughs> okay, uh, that's fine. That's a fair shout. And I don't know. Punk is not coming back. I don't think there's going to be... I don't think they need any shocks this year. I don't think they need. I think they can keep things fairly consistent. Yeah. Uh, I think maybe one or two. You know, if it was me... Maybe one or two shocks. If it was me, I would have a certain trumpet fanfare. (laughs) Exactly. Do you know what? In my mind, I went, there's two ways I could go here. And I nearly went, (laughs) (laughs) whatever you do it, it sounds as though it's like lounge, jazz lounge music, or it's (laughs) supermarket sweep, or it's elevator music. You're just just so casual with it. Time is up, my time is now. (laughs) I wash your mouth like Colgate. Fuck off. (laughs) That line always gets me at the really emotional moments where scenes like lifting up AJ Styles' hand. (laughs) I wash your mouth like Colgate. Like, oh, John. Oh, John, you're a Uh, grown man. (laughs) Do you think think that when he has kids seen as not having kids no I don't think he's a human <laughs> I'm fairly convinced he's a robot but we'll uh, uh, yeah ha- I was about to say watched. but we'll see <laughs> as if it's storyline uh, is John Cena a robot no no thanks for listening to the no. scoop we're on YouTube Good night. we're here to stay we are on YouTube howdy ho Are we really doing Mr. Hanky the Christmas poo? It's good, guys.